It was never really like an option for me to not do science because it was just like so interesting to see like how the world works. My family has this history of cardiovascular disease. So I kind of wanted to do more research into that because I thought, you know, the whole point of research is to have an impact on people's lives. I've been wearing glasses ever since I was eight years old. I knew I wanted to develop some method of assigning eyeglass prescriptions that was smarter, portable, and low cost. I checked out many books from the library and I became interested in the issue of global warming from a young age. My dad was like, there's this really cool thing. It turns out it was the STS public viewing. I talked to the winner that year, Sarah Volz, and I was so I'm completely starstruck. I've always seen the picture of the STS finalists on Capitol Hill, and I've always been like, I want to be there, I want to be that. Um, so when that, when I got the call, I was like, I'm going to be there, I'm going to be that. I called up my parents and immediately told them that. And we actually moved from India when I was 14. Hearing them say that we are so proud of you, the move was worth it, makes me proud. The fact that I advocated for myself over the past few years and then eventually getting here is just such validation. I love science and getting to bring science to other people, both through my story and my project, is really the goal. The Regeneron Science Talent Search is this incredible one-week experience where 40 of the brightest, most hardworking, original and unique, dynamic people from all over the country, high school seniors, come to Washington, D.C. I think the society and Regeneron are really doing a great job of encouraging kids of all ages really to get interested in STEM. I just give a big thank you. It's a very great outreach towards young people who might be uncertain about where they want to go in the future. I told the finals when they first got here that by the night of the award ceremony, every single one of them will be very, very close friends. They will hopefully be collaborating on new scientific discoveries. It's not only about the incredible, intense week you've had of competition, it's also been an incredible week of building and forming lifelong friendships. I'm sure you could talk to people like one off when you meet them, but it's really, if we have one full week of just immersion into this, it's like a different world. The SES finalists are very driven and it's really nice to meet people who study things that they are super interested in. We've just been having fun. We've been playing games, talking during meals, exploring DC together. We get to visit a lot of cool places. We get to visit the Capitol building, meet people, see a panel. We get to visit NIH. We have a couple days of judging interviews uh, with the most off-the-wall, insane questions. So that's a lot of fun. We all got these planets that were named after us, which I thought was really cool. And there was really, really, really good dessert. <laughs> One thing that I'm really excited about is present my work on Public Day, especially to any of the younger students. I really hope to inspire them. Being an STS finalist means that I'm a mentor to millions of students all around the world and I'm an inspiration for them to consider science in the future. This has been a fantastic year for the Regeneron Science Talent Search. It's got a great group of young men and women who represent the future of science. They work on things that you can't see, such as genes, to things you can't even imagine, such as planets. For my Regeneron Science Talent Search project, I wanted to better understand how the virus HIV is able to resist current attempts to cure it. What intrigued me is like using not only a waste, but an actual living process to economically support isolated communities like those that I saw in India every day. What excites me the most about science is it's very unpredictable. One of the challenges was learning to adapt. I had lots of things that went wrong and I had to redesign parts of my project to work around that. I feel like I've learned a lot, not just about my topic, but about science in general. You will fail multiple times and to get through those failures, you have to really be passionate about your project and what you're doing. While you're doing research, it's okay to like go down dead ends because that like actually gives you insight for future progress. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how fancy your lab is or what you do. It's about the work that you do and how you feel about it. I wanted to work in pediatric oncology, so I just emailed a professor. Like, don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Keep your mind open to the world around you. This past weekend has made me realize um, how much more there is to learn. It's unbelievable to me that I was an STS finalist. It changed my life. One thing that it made me realize was maybe I had the talent. I had what it took to make a real difference using science. And so if you're here, if you're one of the STS finalists, that means you're really special. 
the Regeneron program kind of made me realize kids right now can actually grow up to be like really major scientific leaders or like people who can actually make an impact. When I got scholar, I said, wait a minute, I could do something really big with my life. I could really do something with my research, you know. My research means something to people. I think it gives me some more confidence in my future because I know I can do something original. This program and especially my research over the summer has taught me that science is also about creation and innovation and making new ideas. I think only by being in contact with other researchers and kind of developing a more nurturing or family-like environment can we actually really work together toward building even more innovative solutions that can solve our societal and community problems. Being part of the Regeneron Science Town Search has really motivated me to want to continue doing research. Through a career in science as well as medicine, I think that I'll be able to tackle a lot of the problems that I think are important to me that several of my loved ones' friends have faced. And I hopefully in the next 50 or 100 years we can work on not only increasing the quantity of life but also the quality of people's lives. One day I really hope to lead innovation through science, um, whether it's food allergies or something else. Just create new like products or things that really help a lot of people. I personally want to work into aerospace engineering and I hope to work on developing more environmentally conscious aircrafts. I am beyond honored knowing that I am joining a network that will impact not only our communities, but communities across the globe. Now it's the moment we've been waiting for. It's my great honor to announce the top prize winners of the 2019 Regeneron Science Talent Search. I think that this $150,000 were not the biggest prize that I've won this week. It's meeting with this network of all these other finalists here. Next, I'm going to work towards better understanding HIV and how we can eventually work towards eradicating it. I want to go become an astrophysicist. I love teaching. I love learning. I want to be in a place where I can discover new things for humanity and share them with others.